Well, good morning to you, good morning. I haven't left and moved to North Africa. I'm wondering what that track is. Oh, I know, that drips off the gutter. Um, pile of sand, because I've got lots of things that I should be doing. I've been a little remiss in not posting videos just lately. I've, to be honest, the weather has been grey and it's not been too bad but it's, it's sort of been grey and you don't really feel like uh, pointing the camera at things. Today is Tuesday uh, the 4th of February 2020. Crikey. Uh, garden is doing things, mainly growing weeds at the moment. It's too soggy to do any any great amount of gardening. But the onions are doing oniony sort of things, that's all very good. And what I am pleased with is the cuttings that I took last year. They're all sort of showing lots of signs of life. I, I've got a very bad feeling. I've got a hundred percent take. On these. But what did I want to talk about today? I, and I've had to uh, today. I had to go for a little run down to Leblanc, and Leblanc is. Well, that was never going to work in the garden. Uh, I turned and the wind was straight in my face and I thought, you lot are all going to moan. So let's, uh, let's have a little, little stand in here for a while. I've been hole filling. Filling holes takes an awful lot of mortar, but it's quite satisfying and you start to see improvements. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, I had to go down to Leblanc uh, this morning. Little matter of some technical French tax questions that needed to be asked and answered, which I did. And I would have loved to have been able to show you all of the things that I was looking at as I drove down the road. Yes, it, the camera, um, it, it really is not the way to sightsee. You really need to get in a car, go and visit. And the first thing that I was, as I was driving along, I thought you would love to see that. But driving, I couldn't show it to you. There was a big skein of cranes flew across the road, probably about 20 of them. They were probably only about 200 feet up, but it's just not possible to zoom and pan a camera while you're driving. So I didn't show you that. Um, absolutely delightful. One of the joys of being here. And I was driving along fairly relaxedly because I'd set out a bit early and I didn't need to have my foot down hard, which was just as well. Again, something I couldn't show you. Suddenly, and I was, what, I was about 50 yards behind the car in front of me. Suddenly, a great big deer, un biche, un biche, jumped out of the ditch to my right and jumped across the front of the car. I missed it by about a yard. Uh, a big animal. Now, wouldn't that have been wonderful to film that? Well, it, it would have been, but of course that wasn't possible. So I went down to Leblanc. Um, one of the other things that I've, I've been troubled by, before Christmas, one of my friends asked me to buy some wool because she is knitting a un pull, a pullover. <laughs> Un pull for her grandson, and her grandson, he, he's a very likeable, very, very lovely guy, but he unusually is a great big, long, tall thing with great long arms, 
Anyway, Nicole had been knitting and she ran out of wool. And when I got back here, uh, she said to me, could I go to the shop that I got the wool from and get, and here's a piece and here's the ticket with the colour code and all this sort of thing. Uh, I went down to Leblanc, I did what I needed to do and where the office is that I, I had to go to, it's sort of round the back and there's a one-way system and there's lots of no entry signs and as I came away I instead of turning left to go back towards the river I thought oh, I must be able to go right must be able to and I went up a road that I had never driven on before and lo and behold there right in front of me was another branch of the shop where I'd got the wool from originally. So I shot in there and got the wool. They got the right colour. How about that? Job done. What they'd also got was lots of little pans for cooking crepe in. You know, those nice thin pancakes. Um, and they were marked down a little bit because people should have bought them last week. Sunday just gone is Candlemas. Those of you that go to catholic -y sorts of churches will have spotted that it was Candlemas. And there's various things done with candles and the priest blessed candles and it, it all, all lovely stuff. But in France and one or two other European countries, Candlemas Chandeleur is a day when after church you're supposed to go and cook crepe and obviously share them with your family. I didn't know that this is a piece of French culture. So really you should have bought your pans for cooking crepe last week and on Sunday after church you should have been cooking crepe. And not only do you cook them, but the first one, and this is most certainly not a Catholic thing, this is, this is folklore, when, when you cook the first one, you're supposed to hold a gold coin in your left hand while you flip the crepe with your right hand. And if you get it right, then good luck will follow you all year. And the first one, you don't eat. Vous ne mangez pas, non? C'est nécessaire. To place the first crepe in the top of your wardrobe and leave it there for the year. And that will bring good luck to your household. So I'm told. Well, I haven't got an armoire a wardrobe and I haven't cooked any crepe yet. Later today, perhaps. Anyway, some of you, if you're still with me, will also watch some of the same things that I watch. We watch Ken messing about with V12 engines. What do you need a V12 for? Who knows? And some of you will have also seen some fairly um, fairly personal videos from Malk of Lincoln. Malk, well, he's doing less well than I am at the moment, but he's, he's okay. And if you're still with me, Malk, keep your chin up, mate. Things could be worse. I used to work with an old guy, um, dear old John, a chap called John Davy. He was a lovely, lovely guy, taught me an awful lot of things. And he used to say this little thing. He used to say that he was sat there looking miserable. And someone said to him, cheer up, things could be worse. So I cheered up and things were worse. Anyway, if you are watching Milk, you know, keep your chin up, mate. And, uh, you know, we're thinking of you, which is probably the best thing that I can do from here. 